protesters' day, meaning people are not satisfied with happening at the moment. Uh, you did not really perform well during the 2014 elections. No, we did. We, uh, we, we improved on the previous one. Since 99, we every time improved. Not enough as far as I'm concerned, but the moment we did, we still improved and we the same as in 90 years. I'm coming to talk to improving your efforts. I mean, you are perceived as, you know, a political party which, you know, focus only on white people. I mean, the perception that people have. What are you doing to change that perception? Because, mm. you know, that might be one yeah. of the reasons why you yeah. perform in the way you are. Yeah. Now. We say that our focus is minorities. And South Africa is 54 million individuals, but also a lot of groups and minorities. And we feel that minorities are not looking after at the moment. So surely we reach out to minorities. You'll see today there'll be people, brown people here from, from that. The Koi and Sun will be here. We've got good relations with them. See, as minorities that feel that there's problems, and you also have some of them as candidates, and some will attend today. So in that sense, I think it's an important part of the South African reality that those issues must also be addressed because those people feel estranged, they feel oppressed in a certain sense, and this is one way to address their problems yeah, and give them a voice into government. Which uh, areas are you contesting? We're contesting 80-90% of South Africa. We, uh, we will be aware in 3,000 wards we do have candidates. We'll have candidates in everywhere, in townships, in every type we're contesting. So let's see what happens at the end of the day. But surely our emphasis will be Pretoria. At the moment, uh, in the Tswane Metro, we are the third biggest party. And uh, I'm convinced after this election, there will be a lot of uh, metros and smaller cities where no party will have 51%. So we prepare ourselves for the coalition situation afterwards. And that's very important because it gives you the opportunity as a smaller party to play an important role in those coalitions where you can then force also your ideas onto the metro and make it a better place for all. Uh, can you please just briefly talk to us in terms of the pillars of your manifesto today? Just yeah. touch on the pillars of yeah. your manifesto today. Well, the first one is we think service delivery's problem is that there's not enough qualified people in the right positions. You know, the Auditor General found 42% of the people in the financial services municipalities doesn't have the right qualifications. Now, that's a terrible situation. 13% of the municipal managers are not qualified for their jobs. So the first one is let's appoint people on merit, the best one, not color concerned, best one whatever. Because what happens now, take water for example, there's 40,000 posts vacant in different departments as far as water is concerned. Now that explains why we've got all these problems. The reason is that there's not necessarily qualified people that apply and again we say affirmative action is the moment to getting negative effects, getting exactly the opposite. So say please, if for three months that place is vacant, point someone else. Open it up for anybody, let's just get the job done at the moment after 22 years. Uh, the second pillar will be, we think really it's a mistake to go for all bigger and bigger uh, <coughs> local governments. You know, if you look internationally, the trend is to make it smaller. In the end of the day, to get services closer to the people. Let's use Switzerland as an example. You know, in Switzerland, there's 8 million people. The size is smaller than the Free State. They've got 2,700 local governments in that small area. The Free State got 19. We've got 54 million people with 213 local governments and we're making them bigger all the time and we really believe we'll go back to decentralization that will deliver services, not the other way around. Uh, there you hear Alice, Alicia uh, talking to the uh, political party uh, talking to us about the pillars that you know they're going to uh, speak to in terms of trying to attract voters. We know that uh, throughout the month a couple of political parties have launched their manifesto and today we are here to witness uh, Mr. Mulder right here you know, talking to the people who's going to give his keynote address at 11 o'clock. Uh, back to you in studio. Thank you so